Well, um, I've lived in the town my entire life pretty much uh, in that I moved here with my family when I was six months old and I've been living here ever since. I've been very involved in the community, volunteering for various elected officials here in the town and also that represent us at the state, eventually getting involved in campaigns on a consultant basis myself uh, or more accurately as a staff member and then eventually went to law school, became an attorney, now practicing with my father's firm. Uh, Diego's and Associates, which is also located in this building, fun fact, and eventually sought public office for myself after I had passed the bar exam. Uh, of course, it's important to put your your own well-being first. In you know, politics, of course, there are many ways to get involved, and, and so what was more important to me at that time before deciding to run was that I had my career ready to go. And as far as what I hope to accomplish in the future, that's to be determined. There, uh, there uh, There's been a lot of points in my life life where I've made certain plans and life just has a way of flipping them on their heads and usually it's something better that's waiting for you at the other side. As far as my motivations, it just really comes from a deep-seated love of this town. As I mentioned, I'm a 30 plus year resident living here. I've given a lot of my time already to this community, whether it's through my service in the Neighborhood Improvement Committee as an intern for various elected officials, uh, working on various campaigns here. And, uh, and even serving the Charter Revision Commission. I, I'm so, I see myself as being so ingrained in this community that this just seemed like a natural fit as far as to be able to have a, a greater voice to help make Miami Lakes a better place to live, work, and play. And, and also I would throw in the fact that I've also been on the board now of the Miami Lakes Bar Association, which my family, or my father more specifically, was the founding president of for the last couple of years as well. So this was a natural extension of that existing public service that I was already undertaking. Uh, as somebody who actually at one point did take uh, online classes, not only at FIU, but even for a brief period during high school uh, over the summer, I would say that it has dramatically changed for the better. It's not just a bunch of message boards or uh, emails back and forth of assignments. It's, it's much more engaging uh, and with each new uh, era of technology, it just keeps getting better and better and more engaging. And mm -hmm. my personal belief is that the more engaged uh, the student can be with the instructor, even through a remote platform on the Internet, I think that's a better educational experience. Students are more likely to retain and to pay attention uh, to the information that's being uh, given to them. Sometimes it still doesn't work for everybody, and that's okay. It just is what it is. But I feel that, generally speaking, talking about the broader population of kids, the more engaging the platform is, where it allows uh, the student to interact with their classmates and with the teacher, it creates a better educational experience and therefore a greater opportunity for educational success. I think that excellence is just important to everything we do in our lives. I think that if you're not pursuing something with passion and trying to do it to the best of your ability, you're normally not going to get the result that you intend. Even sometimes when you do everything uh, as best as you can, maybe for other reasons out of your control, it, it doesn't turn out the way quite you want it, but the point is you can't leave anything on the table. So in order for us to be successful in life, you must pursue and put the idea of excellence first in everything you do, yeah. because only then do you really unlock your full potential, no pun intended. And also, again, it's about making sure you don't leave anything on the table because one of the worst things that I believe that you can do in life is have regret because you didn't put your full effort forward.